Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited right now to be opening this doll. And what is this doll you may ask? This is a Lutsenko. So ever since I saw my friend Carrie's back in October when I visited her in England, I have been dying to have one of these dolls. And one of my patrons reached out and offered to sell me one. And I'm so thrilled that she is here today. Now I, my, the, the lady, the collector that sold this to me, she also was interested in a partial trade. So I did trade partially one of my hush dolls for her, which is very shocking, I know, because I consider myself to be the world's foremost hush fan. Um, it was kind of painful, but you know what? I've got a lot of hush dolls. She really wanted one, so there we go. But anyway, I am so, so excited to be opening this doll right now. I am just, I'm thrilled. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, so we've got the stand. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. This is gonna start as a standing unboxing and then move to a, to a seated unboxing. But I'm just really thankful to her for offering me this stall and for doing the partial trade because that did make it a lot easier on me financially, especially this time of year. So uh, I'm just very grateful. And I'm excited because this stall has, um, I, I don't remember if it's the exact same or if it's very similar fabrics. Oh, look at the stand. Very similar fabrics to my friend Carrie's. So it's kind of cool. Like we're gonna have sister dolls. I love having sister dolls with my friends, like sister or sibling dolls, whatever. I just think that's really cool because it just makes it even a little bit more special. I don't know. Um, but anyway, okay, so there's the big box. Let's open the actual doll now now she did tell me i got loads of pictures and stuff her wig is messed up so i'm going to see if i can fix it but here is the Lutsenko box y'all i'm so thrilled to be opening this oh okay so let's get her opened up and this is the same sculpt that i really fell in love with of carrie's so this looks like it's the top of the stand we're gonna do right here very nice Gosh, I love that. But anyway, this is the same sculpt I fell in love with. I mean, I fell in love with both of Carrie's, but this is Elena. This is the one that I really, really love. Let's look first at the COA. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. So this is, it's like a, is it glued together? I don't, it might not open actually. It looks like it would open, but I think it doesn't. I think it's just a thick card. So here's the, the card and then it shows on the back I think it's got Anastasia and Sergey's signatures there it doesn't have the mold name it just says a ball jointed resin doll from 2021 so this is a fairly new doll and I actually when she told me she was selling this doll she sent me the picture from their Instagram and the doll is not it's not very old it's a really pretty newer doll all right so let's get her open Y'all, I'm so thrilled, so thrilled about this. Uh, and I had seen Lutsenko dolls here and there before I saw Carrie's in person, but sometimes just seeing them in person and seeing the way they actually look just totally will make you fall in love with the doll. And that's what happened with me with these dolls. So let me get her out of here and I'll show you. Here's the little wig bits that are, she had told me were because these parts go on the wig, but they had fallen off. So I probably can just glue them back on, I'm thinking. We'll see when I get her fully unwrapped here and revealed. But I just love the shape of their dolls, and I think they're just so beautiful. Like, just love, I love the way the legs are shaped on these dolls. Oh, wow, a lot of static in the air here. <laughs> at my house I can fix that with some with a dryer sheet oh my gosh she is so beautiful y'all oh she is absolutely gorgeous like sh oh and the resin is so heavy now I didn't pick carries up and hold them in my hands because I'm just so terrified when somebody else has really nice dolls I don't want to be the one to drop or damage somebody else's dolls. So I didn't actually pick hers up and handle them. She, 
Oh, she's gorgeous. She is so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to have gotten her. Oh, man. This is wonderful. And just look, this is what I mean. Look at the shape of the legs. I don't know what it is about the shape of these legs, but I just love the shape of the Litsenko legs. And the knees are freckled. Like she's, she's not fully body blushed. It's like she's, she's blushed around the jointing. Like this part's not painted, but the knees are blushed around the ankles are blushed. The feet are painted. Um, wow. She is just stunning. Look at the hands. The hands are freckled and blushed. This doll is really in perfect condition. And then the face up y'all. Let me pick her up and hold her into the light so you can just see that beautiful, gorgeous face up. It is just outstanding how beautiful she is. And so I think with the wig, you can see on the top the two little, there were two little glue spots. I think that'll be really easy to fix. I think I can just put a little spot of glue there and just put the little things back on. That's probably not difficult at all. I have to investigate what kind of glue to use. I probably shouldn't use hot glue, even though that's my favorite glue to use. Maybe I should use hot glue, I don't know. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. So I'm also, she's got in here, and this is the fabric part that I was saying that I think is similar to, it's not the same, but it's like a similar color. I don't think it's the same fabric. I think it's just a similar color. And I really liked um, they have a lot of different types of outfits on their site, and I really like that. Um, I like this style, like the open vest dress, because I like the way that it enhances and shows. I just really love the legs. Like the legs of these dolls are so stunning. I really, it's, I know it's, it's a wild thing to get hung up about, but... I just really like the way those legs are sculpted. They're just fantastic. I did order a porcelain doll from them. So I placed an order, um, I put down for a porcelain doll, it's like half deposit. And I, I'm, I'm estimating it'll be here around June. So, and I'm excited about the porcelain because it is a renewable, I mean, it's a, it's a more environmentally friendly resource than resin. And so I'm, I'm really gonna be excited to get that doll as well. But, oh, I'm so thrilled. I can't believe, I can't believe I got one so quickly. And not, not just did I get one, cause I know um, other people, like there are, there've been a few others that have gone up for sale that I've seen, but I got a full set. Y'all know I'm a spoiled brat. I wanna have my full sets and I got an artist full set and didn't have to wait. Like she was ready to sell, I was ready to buy, like yes. So very, very, very exciting. I'm so excited. And I'm so thrilled to have like a sister doll with my friend. Carrie's might be a little taller. I don't, I think they're the same size, but you know how like memory wise, I have to look. This one, I think they offer a couple of different sizes. Carrie's, Carrie's might be a little bit bigger than this. I'll have to look and see. I have to look back at her, the pictures of hers on their that I took, the ones I took aren't gonna tell me anything, but I can look at their Instagram though and see what they are. Oh, she is stunning. And so look, we can do this little, let's see if I can button this without the little, little tool. Yeah, that was not hard at all, actually. And then she's got buttons at the, at the sleeves. Let's see if I can get those buttoned. These I might need. That little, tool that Pasha Pasha sent me, or Pasha, I should say, sent me for her, her dolls. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get that, but wow, this is just, oh, she's just outstanding. I just, all I'm gonna do, the wig is actually like not bad, like it as is, but these are not, I'll just glue these back on like so, to, I'm just trying to figure out what glue I should use, but I can just glue those back on and then she'll have the full 
full look from her full set. The full look from her full set. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled right now to have her. Like, really thrilled. I'm going to try her in a couple of different poses. Um, let's see. I'm going to do... I like to do the kneeling pose to see if they kneel. Um, sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. Oh, yep. She... I'm not going to display her kneeled because I have, she actually came with a stand. But she does kneel. I like that. I love it when a doll can do that. I have a lot of dolls that can't do it, and that's nothing, you know, against those dolls. It's just, I, it is a feature that I like when a doll is able to do that. Oh, she's so beautiful. She reminds me of, like, I don't know, a medieval princess or something. She's so pretty. And then the shoes are really incredible, too. Like, this design that they've done on the shoe, it's just a really cool, very artistic, just, I love the way it looks. You can see just how cool that is. She's just stunning. Uh, and she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. She is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And I love, like, I love her, the beadwork just on her jacket. Like, you can see, like, those little things can't be easy to do at all. Just look at the beadwork and then on her down here. Oh, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Ah, and it's, this is exactly the face I wanted to. I think this is their most popular sculpt, but for good reason. She's really, really, really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. I think Eva has this sculpt too. Is this the same sculpt she has? This might not be the sculpt she has. She has one as well. Um, we were talking about it one day, but I'm going to put her on her stand here so you can just kind of see how that looks. And I'm, I'm just, I'm really happy she came with the stand because that just adds to the, like the whole display quality of the doll. And I got to find somewhere special to put her. I've been trying to figure out like, especially for my, like really like, my luxury, this this is what I call a luxury fashion BJD because it's definitely, and that what makes it luxury is the really good jointing, the high quality resin, you know, no seam lines, the, the beautiful faces, things like that. That's to me what makes a, a BJD, not necessarily the price tag because there's some that are, that are more affordable that I would say fall into this category as, as the luxury fashion BJD, but um, I, I want to find like a way to display all of them. That's always the trick, isn't it? Oh my gosh, look how. I even kind of like the way she's kind of like posed right here. This is just accidental posing, but she looks so good. You know who I'm gonna have to get to pose her? Shira. I have to get Shira to pose her on the stand because Shira just does the most, the cutest, like most realistic. She just has this like sense about being able to pose dolls. I'll have to get her to like come over and pose her for me. For display. Oh, I love her so much. Ooh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited right now. I just have to fix that. All I gotta do is fix that wig. And that's not even gonna be a difficult fix, I don't think. I gotta, y'all tell me what kind of glue you think I should use to repair the wig in the comments. But if you look at the back of the wig, just look at how intricate that design is already. And it's just two little, like, you can see it's two little glue spots where they had it glued on. So I don't think it's going to be really difficult to try to fix. Oh, I am thrilled. Absolutely thrilled with her. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm like speechless. She's so outstanding, y'all. Mm, so happy. All right. I will cut this off now. <laughs> I was going to say cut it short, but I don't think it's been short. Um, but I'll end this now. Um, let me know what kind of glue you think I should use for the for reattaching her little her little buns. Cause see, look how she I use both hands here. See how that oh poops. See how that'll look when I get them attached, like from the front. Like it's gonna be. You can see how that kind of like adds a little bit of like more to her wig. So I do want to get them reattached. I just gotta decide like what's the best glue. But anyway, guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Shorna for letting me adopt her. Thank you so much to Carrie for introducing me to these dolls. And thank you so much to Letsinko for making such beautiful dolls for us collectors. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Just as an update, I did not wait for your advice to fix her wig. I went ahead and fixed it myself. And what I did is I just really studied the pictures on Litsinko's Instagram to see kind of how they had the different buns organized, not organized, but how they had them, like which braids were pointed which way and stuff like that. And I think that what I came up with is actually pretty perfect, um, pretty perfectly close to the way they had it originally. So I just did that and I used a little dot of hot glue to affix them and hot glue might not have been the best thing, but it works really well and it didn't leave any residue anywhere else on the wig. So I thought that was a good option to go ahead and fix it. And I think it looks pretty good. And another thing of note when I was studying and I thought I had seen this before, but I wasn't sure, couldn't remember when I opened her, but she is the sister doll to my friend Carrie's doll because if you look on their Instagram, they have a picture of our dolls together. So that makes her really special to me since she's the sister of the doll that I actually fell in love with. Um, and it's just cool that, you know, my friend and I have sister dolls. That to me is really special because she's the one that introduced me to these dolls. And I love that we have dolls that are connected like this because we're connected. So anyway, just wanted to give you that little update. So thank you for the glue advice, but I already, already did it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, Shalane C, Penny P, Louisa's Knit Knacks, Marty G, and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content as well as helps support the Doll Artist Grant. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please see the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.